put a metal plate and four screws in my foot, and I was off of it for eight weeks. Let me tell you, not having one of your feet really sucks. If you find yourself in that situation, the thing they want you to use is this. Whee! Look, I like riding scooters as much as the next guy. Fall wasn't part of the plan, but illustrates a problem. The point of this video is to kind of give you a pros and cons between two different options. One is that scooter I was just riding. The other is this less commonly known iWalk i3. The other common option is, of course, crutches, and they suck as well. So let's do some pros and cons. Pros of the iWalk. The biggest and most obvious pro is that you can use both hands. So, even though you are lacking in a leg, you can still, like, have a leg almost. Number two, it doesn't wear on your shoulders like crutches, and you're not constantly holding yourself up by your shoulders. So, it's more comfortable. Pro, for what it is, it's extremely easy to remove and put on. So, not much hassle there. It's made out of pretty light plastic and what I think is aluminum tubing or steel tubing. Not very heavy. That's Once you have the hang of it, you don't even really have to put the straps on, although I do not suggest you do that. He freaked my foot doctor out when I did that walking around his office. All my opinion on this, as far as pros go, is that if you have good balance, it's a great option. But, con. Do not recommend you have one of these alone. I still recommend that you have this cart. Because although this iWalk is awesome, you also have to get up out of the chair you're sitting in, and then put your knee in it, and then put on all the straps just to go somewhere. If you're planning on doing a bunch of things, well then that's not a problem. You'll be wearing it for a minute. But if you aren't, and you're just planning on getting up for a second, having to get up and down every time you want to put this thing on and pull the straps on and pull the straps off, every single time you want to move from like the couch to the kitchen, the pain in the butt. Second con, and it's not really a con as much as it is a piece of advice, and that is that if you're going to be wearing this outside of your home and places you know, it's good to have a crutch of some kind. Absolutely. Mainly because you don't have a knee, so when you go to fall backwards, it's not as easy to catch yourself as it is when you have your foot. Having something like this, a braced crutch, makes it easy to throw that back to keep you from falling backwards. Con number three. It's light, but it, it gets heavy. You have to pick it up with your hip every time you move, and that wears you down. While I was wearing it, I basically equated it to having to walk twice the distance for the same distance every time. It does come with complete instructions. It's pretty easy to set up, and after you wear it for long enough, it almost becomes second nature. However, that complacency can become dangerous if you don't pay attention. Now onto the cart. You have never spent any time on one of these things, and I had to define it to you in two words. My words would be conveniently dangerous. I have a name for this one. It's just some generic cart, but the pros are this. It's super convenient. All you have to do is hop off your chair, put your knee on it, and go. Makes it completely easy to get pretty much anywhere in your house at an ease, and honestly, you can get going on this thing. I mean, in a big open area like a store, it's honestly faster than walking. It has brakes so you can stop. It has a little cubby basket that goes on the front where you can store things in it. In the roughly two and a half months I was using both of these, I fell on that thing a total of four times. But on this eye walk, I didn't fall a single time. During that time, I wasn't allowed to put my foot on the ground at all. Completely non-weight bearing. You might see me riding it around in this video and think, oh, well, you were, do you were being crazy on it, but no, I was extremely careful. However, the narrow nature of these back wheels makes this thing extremely top heavy. Meaning if you lean over to get some, you take your knee off of it for just a second and go to put it back and put it back in the wrong place. This whole cart will come out from underneath you before you knew what happened. That's only problematic because you're spending hours and hours and hours around your house with this thing. You get complacent with both of them. Your foot is in a situation where you are literally not allowed to put weight on it that becomes a problem pretty quick. Other con is that it's it's heavy. You, and you gotta lug this around in your car and anywhere you wanna go, it's, it's a pain. Some of them do have the ability to fold and that one does come apart easily, but you're still not taking it apart every time you get in a car. Can you tell I harbor some animosity toward it? You might think that just because I seem to have some hatred toward it that I, I don't like it, but I do like it. it it's okay. I feel like it could be designed better and if anybody's a company out there that makes these carts, 
uh, get a hold of me. I have some I have some pointers. What are my final thoughts? What should you do? Do you get something like an iWalk? Or should you get this card instead? One of the big pros is that the iWalk, at the time I bought it, was around $150, $160 on Amazon. So not very expensive. So not a big investment. Some insurance plans will cover this, some won't, but almost all will cover a cart, assuming a medical professional thinks you need it. I was glad to have both of them, and if I had to pick one, I don't know if I could choose. Personally, I think the iWalk is better for when you need to go and do things physically and you need to feel less hampered by the disability you have at the moment. However, the iWalk becomes somewhat of a burden when you're just in your house doing everyday little chores as it's a pain to take off and on constantly. I think that it is best off that you have the iWalk for whenever you need to do things and the cart for whenever you need to be convenient. However, be exceedingly careful when you're on this thing because it is dangerous and top heavy. If you enjoyed this video and it was informative, please think about subscribing and liking. I will put affiliate links for all three of these things in the description. As always, remember to support yourself and others better than you do your prints. And if you have any questions about any of the things I showed today, please let me know and I can try and inform you or make a video to explain. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.